All right, St. John's, this is DJ Hypnotic, and I told you I had some new music for y'all. That was How Low, the remix with Sierra and Ludacris, or no, excuse me, Sierra and Pitbull. All right, I am back. What's going on out there? All right, I want to thank everybody for keeping it locked. Everyone tuning into my show right now, Am I on the Air? Right now, I have the pleasure to be joined here with singer, guitarist, and songwriter, Kwanzaa Jones. How are you today? Hey, 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 how are you? I'm great. How about you? Good to hear that. I'm doing fine myself. I can't complain. Well, that's a good thing. Yes, it's so nice to be able to speak with you today. Thank you. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Not a problem. And welcome to the show. So, like, how's the year been for you so far? You know, it's been an incredible year, actually. The end of last year was really great, and it's been an incredible start to this year. Just with everything that's going on with the new single, everything around you, um, it's been really good. It's been getting a lot of airplay on various video shows. BT and MTV merged and have or have a new station called Centric, so that has about 45 million viewers. It's been airing on that. It's oh, been wow. airing on Music Choice, on Time Warner Cable, station, all sorts of good stuff. And it's been getting radio airplay. Including here at WSJU, <laughs> where I'm having this interview, so I'm excited. It's all really good. <laughs> that sounds amazing. That's a nice way to start off the year. Hey, I know. <laughs> that means I still have a lot more work to do, but I'm never afraid of a challenge. So. Yeah, I know, and you have a lot of time to get that work done. Hey, <laughs> exactly. It's just February, so I still have some time. <laughs> all right, so to start off, why don't you tell everybody who is Kwanzaa Jones? Ooh, that's a real deep question. <laughs> Kwanzaa Jones is me. That answers a lot, I'm sure. But, you know, it's funny because a lot of people say, oh, or I've had it say where they say, oh, you're, you're, you just got this energy. So, Kwanzaa Jones is this curvaceous bundle of energy. Um, and I like to say I have a mean streak because I always mean what I say, meaning I'm going to give it to you real. I'm going to tell you exactly what it is. And that's in part even what some of the music is about on this next album. This upcoming album, rather, Supercharge, is about, you know, everybody just, the soundtrack of your life, of your love, you got ups, you've got downs, but it's always about just pushing and, and making stuff happen, and so, getting supercharged. So, Quanta Jones is a curvaceous bundle of supercharged energy. <laughs> That's great. What do you do with all that energy? Do you put it into your music? I do. You know what? I, I try to put it in everything I do, from music to, in general, life to just my interactions and connections with people, with fans, with family, and, and things of that sort. It's just, um, as far as that energy going into the song, it goes into all, all of my songs, whether it is a slower sort of ballad type song or whether it's a more energetic, get up on your feet and dance sort of song, because they're, they're a combination of all of those in, in the album. And actually, one of the places where the energy, there's a great outlet for it, is my live performances. And so many people will say, oh, you don't even need caffeine after you see Kwanzaa. <laughs> because <laughs> their energy is crazy. So, um, which is good. I'm glad I have it because I actually don't drink caffeine. So oh, wow. I don't drink coffee. I don't drink the sodas with the caffeine. But, you know, I don't know where it comes from, but it comes. So I'll just take it. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I hear that. All right. I was going to actually get into that next about your debut album titled Supercharge. And... What makes this album so supercharged beside all the energy that you put into it? And where oh. does the motivation come from while recording? You know, this particular album, and actually I, I had a, another one before, which I call the concept album, um, which was when I climbed Mount Kilimanjaro and wrote a song a day doing that. But this one, what makes it supercharged is it really connects with the realities of life. And it connects with the realities of love as well, too. And just trying to make sure that whatever those things are, you know, there's heartbreak sometimes, there's relationship stuff that doesn't go well, um, but it's about what you do after that. It's about what you do to keep you going, and that's the sort of thing that I, that, that makes this album supercharged. And the motivation for it, it's funny because I had someone say, you never write love songs. And I sort of don't write love songs, so part of this album was also based on a challenge to try to write love songs, but it's not a love song album. I, I tweaked it and turned it into songs about love and songs about relationships, but it's not the same as just, you know, your, oh, it's love and it's great, you know, it's a little bit more than that. I see. 
So that's a little bit of the motivation. A challenge, a dare, someone dared me. <laughs> <laughs> so people should be able to take something from listening to your album. Absolutely. You know what? It's interesting because I don't always set out to have music with a message. I think it's, well, it's a couple things. I think music is important if it does have a message because music is such a critical part to everyone's lives. And imagine a day without music. It's just everywhere from elevators to radio to your station, your shows. Everything we do, it's a background of TV shows and films, all of that music is so critical. And so for me, since it's exposed to so many people and impacts so many people's lives, why not have it say something where it can help somebody get through their day, you know? Um, so that, if that's the message, is that certain things, and in this particular project, it's, the, it's what I call the soundtrack to your love life, <laughs> or soundtrack to your life and your love life. Um, and there's things that you should be able to get from it. Like even with the single Everything Around You, you have a relationship that's sort of gone bad. And the issue is what do you do from it? Um, it's okay to be unhappy because the chorus of that song is a large part of it that's saying, I'm not happy. Hey, 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 hey. And so part of the thing with being I'm not happy is it doesn't mean you're sad. It's a good thing. Like, if you know what makes you unhappy, then you know what not to do. <laughs> and you can make some changes. So that's that's another sort of message that comes from that. So That's so true. That's amazing that you just pointed that out for everybody to hear. Yeah, you know what's interesting about that song in particular with everything around you is I, I really knew it was going to resonate a lot with females because... You know, how many have not had their heart broken or had some issues in a relationship? But what's been really pretty amazing to me is it's been really connecting with guys as well, too. And I was talking actually to someone last week um, for another radio show that I actually am about to do. And he was saying, look, it, it affected him so much because he was going through a situation just like that. And it struck me, my gosh, yeah, it's not just, you know, it's girls, it's guys, it's teenagers, it's adults, it's everyone. Everyone has some sort of issue where they're not happy at some point in time. And that's where everybody can relate to it. And it's about what you do after it. Definitely. Yeah, I think that um, you could put the words and apply them to different situations. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yep. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you graduated from Princeton University. Is that correct? I sure did. Wow. That's amazing. How was that journey for you? Ooh, Princeton was Princeton. Was Princeton. <laughs> you know, it was, Princeton's a tough school, which is good. I mean, it's, I, I learned so much from there. And I didn't take a traditional path of, okay, yes, I want to go into music, so I'm just going directly and doing that, too. For in, in my family and in my household, education and is very, very, very important. My perspective is no matter whether you're going to get a college degree or a graduate degree or anything, no matter what you do, it's important to just try to work hard and be the best at everything that you're doing. But for me, Princeton was really, um, I ran track, so I was running track when I was there as well, too. Um, and it was great. It was a great learning experience, not only just in terms of the academics and, and being exposed to so many different people. It, it's the... Back to relationships, connections, cultures, different things you get, not only with the students, and but also with, with teachers as well, too. So it was, um, it was very eye-opening for me, and it was an excellent experience. It definitely, I'd go back. I would, well, not now, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> if I had to do it over again, I'd choose to go to Princeton all over again. Interesting. So you feel you took something from that situation? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. You know, it's funny because whenever you're in any situation you're in, whether it's life or school or, or just a conversation you have with people, you, you always, I believe, always get something out of it. The issue is you don't know necessarily what it is you're going to get out of it, but if you're open to it, you're going to get something. And what's interesting is you don't know where or how what you've learned is going to come into play later or how it's going to affect things later. And for me, for, for Princeton, it was like that, just trying to make sure I made the, the most of the situation of being there in that academic environment and just taking it all in. And, um, and I definitely think it has actually been helpful even in some of my songwriting in terms of just really trying to